Hello, this is uh, Seymour Rocks here. Um, it's probably not the best conditions for seeing his face, but actually uh, we've got uh, Kevin Hester here. And he had an experience last night um, in Hamilton at a climate change meeting, uh, which I think he's got some news to um, to communicate to us. So, Kevin, yeah, fire away. What do you want us to tell us? Yes, hi, everyone. Uh, yesterday I, I drove from Auckland down to Hamilton, which is about 120 kilometres, uh, with Chloe King, a, a good friend of mine who's a climate change blogger in Auckland. And we went to this seminar called The Greatest Climate Show on Earth. Now, I can't for a moment understand how anyone authorised or okayed that uh, title for the seminar, but anyway, that's what it was. The, there was a couple of speakers who really impressed were um, Jeanette Fitzsimons, who's a former head of the Green Party of Aotearoa New Zealand and was a member of parliament for many years and has been a really great active uh, climate change campaigner for 30 years. You know, before anyone was doing it, Jeanette Fitzsimons was. And Jim Salinger, who's an internationally renowned climate scientist based at the School of Environment, University of Auckland. And last summer, he was the Ernst Froelich Fellow at CSIRO in Hobart, Australia. For 35 years, Jim has studied climate change and variability in New Zealand linking climate trains with natural and human causes. He was part of the Nobel Peace Prize contributors to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change to the 2007 report for the efforts to build up and disseminate greater knowledge about man-made climate change. More recently, Jim has been examined future impacts of climate change in the Auckland region, and he's edited a book called Living on, the, on, on a Warmer World. In the Q and A, oh, oh sorry, uh, just before you go on, um, perhaps we ought to point out that Jim Salinger was actually uh, sacked by the the government organisation that he was working on because he was talking to the media a few years ago. That was under this government, wasn't talking it? truth to power. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I, I, in the Q and A, I got up and I said. When are we going to start admitting that we're now in a time of abrupt climate change? I said in the, in the PETM, the Paleocene Ecocene Thermal Maximum Extinction Event, this planet heated up 5 degrees Celsius in a 13-year period. Anything that's happened before on this planet can happen again. And for all we know, we could easily be in that 13-year window now. And I said, when on earth are we going to start telling the truth about this? And Jim came straight back and he said, I'll answer that question, sir, or uh, I'll answer that gentleman's question. We are in a time of abrupt climate change. Now, this is a real, a really significant move for the most senior climate change scientist in New Zealand to stand up and speak in a public meeting in front of a hundred and something people that we're in a time of abrupt climate change. There was a bit of a murmur went through the room because, you know, a lot of these people know about climate change and they know what's happening and they really reacted to it. I, I made the point of saying that, you know, we've, we've had eight and a half million acres of, of forest burn in the United States alone. That there are eleven. There's been eleven thousand fires in Brazil, in Brazil alone this year. Eleven thousand separate forest fires, and there's a there's a forest fire burning as we speak now in Indonesia that is ad, emitting more carbon than the entire United States. It's like a country the size of the United States that has come from nowhere and is emitting carbon. When I, I had, I was at Science Week last, or at the beginning of this year, and um, uh, Jeanette Fitzsimons was presenting about climate change, and and I really got the impression that she thought that uh, we could still fix this um, dilemma that we're confronted with, and I brought up at that meeting that there's no way to stop this. There's no way once you have your permafrost melting and all that methane being released. Once the methane class rates on the bottom of the ocean are going off, there's no way that you can stop it. 
and it leads to abrupt climate change. And that, that was at, at Science Week last year, and, and she really shot me down. She, she actually said, Kevin, we can't have people leaving here, going home depressed, thinking that it's all yeah. over. And I was really mortified. I said, you know, what about just t t telling the truth? And then last night, when she did her presentation, she paraphrased a whole lot of what I'd said to her about the methane. Yeah. And I was so grateful that that had sunk in and that she's obviously been thinking about it and uh, made that uh, made that decision or you know, that acceptance that that's where we're at now. And, you know, to, to, to um, um, the final um, icing on the cake for me was uh, Jim Selinger and his wife, Kerry, who's a, who's a, a really renowned lawyer, a, a, like some kind of international lawyer. I don't know exactly mm. her field, but they came up to me and she said to me, Kevin, when – uh, when you made that question, Jim turned to me just before you were finished and said, that's the best question of the night. So it yeah. was really great that we got the abrupt climate change discussion yeah, yeah. going in amongst all of these people. For me, it was a very big, successful um, uh, meeting. Well, it's a real vindication, isn't it, uh, Kevin? Because um, um, it's a really hard pill to swallow when the people that we've trusted all these years have kind of are unwilling to to accept any of this and seem to be putting out the wrong message so for to to hear that it's just yeah well it's 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 huge huge vindication well you know what i what i would love to see now and i think there's a zero percent chance that it will happen what i would love to see is the new zealand mainstream media pick up on what got said last night and, and and have a breaking news story. New Zealand's leading climate scientist says we're in abrupt climate change and with all the implications that that has. But unfortunately, our, our extremely right-wing media in New Zealand, mm. they will bin that. So one of the purposes of me doing this interview with you now is I would like as many people as possible to pass on the fact that Jim Selinger has come out and made this momentous uh, statement in a public forum I'll look around as much as I can and find, you know, it was filmed, the whole presentation was filmed. Whether or not the Q&A was, I'm not sure. Yes. But if it, if it has been filmed where our leading climate scientist said that, I think it's a Rubicon that we've crossed. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for that, um, um, Kevin. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll finish with that, and I'll, I'll get this information out to folks. Excellent. Hey, thank you very much.